Item Number SCP-4032 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-4032 has been cordoned off in the research gardens of Site-67. All instances of SCP-4032-1 are to be gathered daily and incinerated on site. Misuse of SCP-4032-1 will lead to suspension or termination of employment. Any animal found to have consumed SCP-4032-1 is to be captured, euthanized, and incinerated. Only one specimen of SCP-4032 has been found to date. Should additional specimens be found, MTF Alpha-67 weed whackers will be dispatched to uproot the specimen and transport it to Site-67. All humans that have consumed SCP-4032-1 are to be contained in holding cells B1 through 5 in the outer perimeter of Site-67. Each cell is to be outfitted with three redundant air filters containing Thiobacillus diaparis embedded in a peat and pyrourethane mixture. Hydrogen sulfide and methane sensors are installed in each filter. Upon sounding of sensors, MTF Alpha-13 odor eaters are to escort the individual outside while repairs are completed. SCP-4032 is a wide, mounding deciduous shrub producing a small, round, brown fruit designated SCP-4032-1. When an animal or human consumes SCP-4032-1, it produces extreme gastrointestinal distress. One hour following consumption, the affected individual will form an excess amount of flatulence containing elevated levels of hydrogen sulfide and a smaller but noticeable amount of methane gas. Due to an anomalous effect, this flatulence will continuously be produced until the affected individual is deceased. See research logs below. Fasting and dehydration do not affect the flatulence, and endoscopy has discovered no identifiable source of the anomalous flatus. An affected individual in an area with improper ventilation will, over time, experience severe symptoms caused by hydrogen sulfide poisoning, including conjunctivitis, respiratory irritation, loss of smell, pulmonary edema, and death. Discovery SCP-4032 was discovered on April 2, 2018. An individual known as Anthony Green, hereafter referred to as D-14478, came upon SCP-4032 in the foothills of Northern California. After consuming SCP-4032-1, he made a distress call to the local search and rescue team, which was intercepted by Foundation operatives. Due to its relative isolation and access to natural resources, the area surrounding SCP-4032 has been purchased by the Foundation, and a research facility constructed under the guise of a personal estate. A three-meter fence has been erected across the property, and SCP-4032 is currently contained with other biological specimens in the research garden area of the site, now designated Site-67. Research Logs Researcher Dr. Lakari Special Note As Site-67 was not yet constructed, D-14478 was housed at Site-88. Date April 2, 2018 Time 1800 hours D-14478 brought in for observation, assigned to cell 14B on the exterior of the compound. Subject emitting copious quantities of flatulence showing high levels of hydrogen sulfide and methane. Date, April 2, 2018 Time, 2300 hours Subject complaining of rapid gas buildup in the cell, interior venting hood activated. Date, April 3, 2018 Time, 200 hours After receiving over 50 complaints, maintenance staff deactivate interior venting hood and open exterior windows. D-14478 placed an intravenous diet. Date, April 5, 2018 Time, 1000 hours Endoscopy conducted on D-14478 via remote equipment. Colon was found to be clear, with no visible source of rectal gas. Date, April 6, 2018 Time, 1100 hours Staff meeting held to discuss the effects of D-14478's condition on community quality of life. 
Residents of nearby cells and research rooms complain about inability to open windows or use nearby outdoor facilities. Options discussed include relocation, termination, and attempted treatment. Resolution passed to House D-1478 in an outdoor facility, while proper filtering equipment can be constructed. Date, April 13, 2018 Time, 1500 hours Foundation agents intercept reports from environmental watch groups regarding airborne pollution in central Alabama near Site-88. Due to the widespread effects of D-1447-H condition, Resolution is passed to transfer D-14478 into experimental filtering cell before conclusion of safety inspection. Disagreement by the minority noted and filed. Date, April 14, 2018 Time, 100 hours D-14478 found dead. An investigation pointed to improper construction of the primary filter and malfunctioning of its associated sensor. All effects of SCP-4032-1 found deceased upon death. Postmortem report filed with Ethics Committee. Dr. Lughari placed on temporary administrative leave. Researcher Dr. Carlisle Special Note Animal testing approved by Ethics Committee Date May 1, 2018 Species Arocadian Heron Cluplia bentinki Procedure SCP-4032-1 was crushed and added to a mixture of copepods and krill, then fed to a small school of heron. Result, 15 minutes after consumption of SCP-4032-1, the heron's typical flattish production was greatly increased, disrupting their use of flatulence for communication and causing distress to the school. Flattish was collected and analyzed. In contrast to standard herring flattus, the gases collected contain both hydrogen sulfide and methane, although at levels lower than those produced by human subjects. After three hours, the heron were euthanized and processed. Autopsy and chemical analysis discovered no postmortem evidence of SCP-4032-1's effects. Date, May 2, 2018 Species, Chicken, Gallus Gallus Domesticus Procedure SCP-4032-1 was offered directly, which was rejected by the chickens. It was then crushed and added to commercial chicken feed and fed to a group of five chickens. Result, two hours after consumption of SCP-4032-1, all chickens began to emit a gas containing low levels of hydrogen sulfide and methane gas. All animals were euthanized and dissected after five hours. Postmortem analysis determined that the chicken's short intestinal tracts were distended. Date, May 4, 2018 Species, Brown-throated three-toed sloth, Bradipus variegatus Note, This species was chosen for its noticeable lack of flatulence, typically absorbing flatus and emitting it through the lungs. Procedure SCP-4032-1 was offered directly, which was rejected by the sloth. It was then crushed and ground with a mixture of tree leaves before being fed to a sloth. Result. All testing with large mammals have been suspended. Ethics Committee approval is required for all future animal experiments.